Good, Good morning. morning. Oh. <laughs> Dibs on that In one. unison. <laughs> yeah. So we have a, a new lineup from Planetary Design in... Uh, I mean, I have to say this, Missoula, Montana. Yes, part of Gail's old stomping ground. So, well, I, I lived in Montana for numerous years, and mm -hmm. I mean, they're just not well known for coming up with new designs and, and <laughs> stuff like this. They're more well known for horsing around. A horsing around. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. planetary design creates the airscape, which we love yep. to death. We love it. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> but you have some rather robust gear looking here what's this yeah go? this is the tabletop stuff that you would have more like at home and then this is the travel mug uh, and this is tabletop as well okay just different sizes now we haven't chested the yield on these but it's 48 ounces is what they have on the ticket uh, 32 ounces and then 20 ounces and then i think uh, these are 14. The those are those are we're guessing are the overall capacities but yeah, as far exactly. as how much you get at the end of the 14, day 14 you're right once you get coffee in there Everything changes. Yes. <laughs> so these are French presses. And they, these just pull off friction. Mm -hmm. Here's your plunger and your screen down here. Mm -hmm. And a rubber gasket as a your friction fit. Nice. Stainless steel interior on all of these. So you can't blame anybody in the family for breaking exactly. the, the glass crap <laughs> on this bad boy. Uh, you know, a regular plunger. And then in the spout here. In case oh. there are some loose ground. Of course, cool. that would have to be big ground, wouldn't it? Yeah. Big chunk of those. Mm -hmm. Road gravel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to keep the road gravel out of your cup. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the tabletop ones. They're all um, black and stainless, as you can see. Okay. And then um, we have over here your travel mug. Okay. These are a little bit different. In fact, they're a lot different. Mm -hmm. um, they have a, it's a French press again, friction fit again. Same, same story. Mm -hmm. Big old handle that you can actually clamp onto your belt buckle or the, your backpack or with you know, a, like a carabiner. Like um, it comes with two lids. This is the French press lid, which shuts off if you want to shut it off. Oh, wrong way. If you want to shut it off. Oh, nice. So it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, I'm having a hard time because it's not in the steel. container. Yeah. Uh, and then it comes with a sippy lid. Okay. Same thing. You can shut that one off as well. So this is double use. You can have like, you can do French press or if you made some drip coffee at home or your latte, there. you can just pour it right exactly. in. Exactly. Okay. The secret thing on this one though is on the bottom here, there's a little container, a little storage container where you can take some more ground coffee. Mm -hmm. All you need is hot water for later. Make another pot so or cup. So I think you need a little thermos along with this. Right? <laughs> exactly. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Have a little. They should maybe make a thermos that goes with. So um, uh, what I love about these is they're pretty durable. You know, these would oh, be yeah. great camping and that kind of exactly. stuff. You know. Exactly. And this will fit in your uh, in your car in the mm -hmm. cup holder. Cup holder. It's got a little rubber ding dong here to keep it from wiggling and jiggling and making noise. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Nothing drives me crazier than some little vibration going on <laughs> in the car. Yeah, sometimes I will change, change down in my cup holder, and, and I'll put a can of soda or something in there. Like, kink, 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 kink. It's like, oh. <laughs> you'd think, Gail, that maybe you wouldn't put change down in there. Yeah, that, I'm well, just saying. That's, that's a logical solution, you know. But then it, it, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> cool. cool. All right. That's so, and we'll do some yield testing to find out how much these yep. um, produce end cups that. The end of the day so don't don't believe that this is going to give you no 48 ounces of coffee if you do a french press in exactly. there exactly we need to do a yield on it just like we do all our french presses mm -hmm. and if you put the lid on crooked you're going to be drinking like this yeah then drink. it's going to be bad news really bears. nice grip yeah that, i, I like, like it a lot it's a it's a soft rubber it's a good grippy rubber mm -hmm. cool and all this stuff comes off for washing which is kind of nice yeah all righty all right planetary design Coffee presses. Latest and the greatest. All right. Thank you very much, Gail. You're welcome, Kat.